in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Revival in the midst of weariness that provides restoration for your soul and even strength for the journey is called impartation of strength God is able to impart strength to the believer in addition to your consciousness of his love the comfort of scripture strategic prayers your joy number five is impartation of strength the strength of God can come upon an individual as an impartation and provide the stamina for continuity. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. Son of man, he said, Stand upon your feet and let me speak to you. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. And the man did not have any strength. And verse 2 says, And the Spirit entered into me. When he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. The Spirit, when he asked me to stand, I didn't have the strength to stand but the spirit something from him this is what is happening to someone now because this is february and for some people you already seem to have the weariness of december and the spirit entered into him and set me upon my feet philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 paul was speaking over the church in philippi and he said i can do all things through christ that strengthened me. I can do all things through that anointing, that spiritual agency that grants me unusual strength, that when people are weary, people are downcast, I can carry a godlike stamina and that it is sponsored by the infusion of strength from heaven. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, again my brethren he says be strong in the lord and in the power of his might amplified says draw your strength from your union with him draw your strength take advantage of the fact that you are one with him and draw your strength be empowered through your union with him don't waste the fact that you are one with him that when you go through these seasons the awareness that you have an advantage by reason of being grafted into Christ take advantage of it and draw strength draw your strength from him and be empowered through your union with him and in the power of his boundless might can I tell you this please look up when you pass through seasons seasons that seem to be uncomfortable seasons that test and try your faith when you endure to the end let me tell you two things that happen to you number one there is always an increase and multiplication of the grace of God that is invested upon your life it will be clear to all and sundry that this one is a reed I have taken out of fire number two authority and grace is given to you to bring anybody who gets to that situation to this is this is one of the classic this is one of the blessings of enduring seasons in the spirit that if a woman for instance 
has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb, done everything she knows to do, and nothing seems to happen. She's gone through her journey of pain. Let me tell you, the day that woman gives birth, it's not just a child she has. That child also came with an anointing. Any woman she prays for, she can draw from the archive of her pain. It is true. That's the reason why you find out that God often, he, he, he would often empower people along the areas of their pain, the areas that he creates a ministry. Are we together? Because you see, pain and unfavorable seasons like this can plant in you compassion. And compassion is how the anointing is drawn forth from within you. For we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity. He was in every way like us, tempted, yet without sin. You see that? Compassion. Jesus had compassion for us to the point that even when he went to heaven, he still found a ministry for himself, interceding for the saints. Exalted, defeated Satan, hell, death and the grave and yet he sat at the right hand of the father he was so touched by his experience being a man that he continues to intercede for us you know what it means to intercede to intercede means to be that bridge to pray and say father i know what it means to be a man of god in nigeria i know what it means to be a man of god on earth Let's look at that scripture again and then we'll pray. 1 Corinthians 1, 2 Corinthians 1 from verse 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 3 and 4. Now it will make sense to you and then we'll pray. 2 Corinthians 1 from verse 3 and 4. It says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort. Verse 4. It says, Who comforted us in our tribulation, that we might be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Any trouble is a qualification you get, like an accreditation. That situations and seasons can put a badge upon you. And anyone who is troubled and dismayed, God pushes you and says, go there. You are the only one who can understand the situation of this family. Because of something you have gone through. Can I tell you? In your scar is your glory. Don't run away from it. That you cried trusting God. For a miracle. You came to Abuja with no sponsor, nobody, and some of you are passing through unfavorable seasons. That season is driving you to pray in tongues every day. After all, there's no job. And God has seen that there is an advantage in that season. I assure you, he won't be in a hurry to bring a job. He has found out that that situation is birthing something out of you. For our light afflictions, he says, which walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory. Because there are people who are about to enter new seasons in their lives. You've been going through seasons that you cannot explain. Lord, give me a definition of what is happening to me. And the Lord put this conference together to bring answers to you. And he's telling you rejoice not over your tragedy rather rejoice in the lord because he's doing something in your life and can i tell you when god is done with you like the rising of the sun you will emerge with power and grace and stamina and wisdom you will stand with uncanny mastery as you administer the anointing of the spirit because you are not just one who read your bible you went through a school in the spirit Woe betide any nation whose king is a child. You know what it means to be a child? There is a requisite level of innocence you must give up if you want to sit in the place of authority. By innocence, I mean naivety. Father, I want you to use me mightily. 
I want to be a great man of God. Father, I want to be a kingdom billionaire, you say, and he's watching you. Vetting the sincerity mixed with childishness that is rubbing off in prayer. And he says, are you ready to drink of my cup? And usually you will say yes. And in your mind, you believe that everything is all right. He says, hold my hand and let's go for the journey. And before you go, he says, hold on, eat first. Because you have no idea where you are going to. Do you know what it means to eat? To eat means take advantage of every privilege you have now. Because when you start that journey for 40 days, you might not see anybody again. So some of you here are about to start that season. And God is saying eat. Free prayer. Every time you have any trouble, you just call and someone picks your phone. He said take advantage of that season. Because the season you are about to enter, I will prohibit you from calling anyone. You will walk your faith till it works by itself. Eat for the journey is far. And you've eaten and he's tapping you and he's saying eat again. Whoever knew that the pandemic will bring the world to this kind of state. That it literally resets the life and the destinies of other people. There are people today who have not even gained their footing. Suicide everywhere. But there are those who are saying, Lord, there is something I know about you. Hmm. That though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, thou art with me. I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Notice his voice was not mentioned there. Your rod and your staff. How does a rod and staff create comfort? But he says they comfort me every great man you know if they are to be sincere with you if they want to really teach you the secret to their exploits you will cry at the end of the story because they will not tell you what you want to hear they will tell you seasons of pain they will tell you about seasons when i have the privilege and the honor of sitting with great people i sit quietly like a sponge i'm not interested in all the glamour tell me the stories if he's a minister of the gospel i'll tell it i don't want to hear about signs and wonders let me let me just know unfortunately our world today does not have any regard for scars no you see the palace can so decorate you it will look like you don't have a scar always remind those in the palace that this robe of royalty came because there is a scar and there are times you must be honest to show them the scar there is a reason why the scar is on the hand of jesus he does not wear gloves even though he's royalty he leaves the scar for you to see and to remind you that if you are going to follow in his steps it is not just about prayer and impartation alone there are wells you must dig dear man of god there are wells you must dig not everything will just come by praying for me there are times you will cry you will have to make that history by yourself my assignment tonight is to bring you comfort by the spirit and then to pray that the staying power because some of you are almost the season is almost coming to an end don't give up one day to the end of the season you can abort the season pastor Nat came up here and sang by the spirit waiting 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 is painful waiting is not a parable it means wait and the human spirit interprets waiting as irresponsibility because we are people of action why do i sit down doing nothing oh god with all this confusion in my life and he says it is there that wait upon the lord are we together please do not miss the sessions tomorrow because you would not get an incomplete teaching this way there is something i will connect to what i'm teaching you that will open your eyes and show you something about god that the more we pass through these seasons there is something about god there is a way you see god that is different when you are in fire there is no other way of seeing god that way until you are in fire are we together today 
we are gathered here celebrating what God is doing in the life of a man of God and his dear wife among many other factors because of a testament of surviving and standing strong through seasons singing in the night singing with tears and can I tell you don't just come to receive information alone come trusting that God will interpret for you the writings on the wall how do I move from this place to the place of destiny when they were introducing Pastor Nat I listened carefully to what the man of God said he said it's one person who is teaching the nations how to worship and I sat quietly and I listened and I said we love those kinds of things but can you pay that price believe me there is a price there are some things you cannot pray away you will have to pass through it if you are Jesus and you intend to sit on the throne get ready for the cross not only will you be hung there you will carry it you will first carry it before you die on it I don't mean to scare you but the Holy Ghost granted me the release to teach this there are messages that will not make sense now but seasons will come when you will need them no matter how bright a light I give you if it is in the day you don't need it just keep that light because when you get to the night you will need that light for advancement the most important component in your car if it's in the night is your headlamp not the color of the car not even the type of the car we can rejoice at the glamour of the car in the day but once we get to the night time be sure that while we are rejoicing in the day your headlamp is all right because he made two great lights there is a light you will need in the night the darkness that is looming across the earth requires a high level spiritual understanding two categories of people here number one those who are already in this season praying and saying apostle I have been praying and asking God to give a definition to what is happening to me I lost a loved one I lost money something seems to not just add up with my life and destiny my ministry my business what what is the meaning of that and God is bringing perspective may I remind you again who sinned that this man was born blind it is not always a sin issue Jesus said neither not his father not him but that in that entire experience there is glory that shall be birthed through this hear me man of God you are going through what you are going through because of a mantle that is waiting for you kingdom billionaire forget about all the dreams you've been having with you having money if you really want that dream to become a reality more than just saying I receive by faith I tell you there are seasons you step into a season where God will ask you to empty your account on top of the cry you have cried after crying for six hours you think he will send a destiny helper he will ask you empty what is left first and you sit down there not knowing whether you're a Christian or not again and he tells you that is the qualification for being my treasurer from the rising of the Sun to the setting of the same your name is to be hallowed ah. for those people who are going through those seasons I believe that the Lord brought me here tonight as a prophetic midwife because some of you those seasons are coming to an end and like a woman who is ready to give birth to a season of glory God has sent us as prophetic midwives that it is time to push the glory you saw yesterday is nothing compared to that which his majesty will be bringing upon your life and believe me let me speak to someone it will be in your lifetime you will see the birth of that glory that your life will become a testament of the faithfulness and the mercy of God people will look at your life and they will learn God your life will be a handout it will be a lecture manual that if people do not understand anything about God he will refer them to you and say understudy the life of this my servant and you will have clarity as to how I walk the second category of people 
are those who are about to enter this season i wish i were not the one who would tell you but let me be honest with you in the name of jesus and in the name of honesty if it's advancement that you desire ask jesus what he faced on his way to gadara you would think that the storm will spare jesus it still came this would not be the kind of message i want to preach and i i apologize for the discomfort this will bring to your emotions except that you will thank me soon because many of you you have been eating now you are not eating for nothing don't mind your weight you will shed it off i assure you the the way the journey will stretch you from border to border you will stretch it through so that when those moments come you will reject the voice of the adversary who comes to lie to you and say man of god if you are really anointed what is wrong with you tell him get thee behind me i will go through my seasons with honor i will go through it with nobility and integrity knowing this that when he's tried me i will become refined as gold that some of you can stand before the dead body of a loved one and with tears in your eyes you will still believe God has called you to the miracle ministry. When people are asking you and saying, never talk about that vision of crusades again. You could not raise this dead body. Shame on you and your destiny. You can find comfort knowing that his word concerning me remains true. Can we pray for a few minutes? Please rise upon your feet. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Adonai. One more time. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be hallowed. Prayer point number one. If you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Lord, grant me an infusion of strength and stamina for the seasons ahead. Please lift your voice and pray. Grant me an infusion of strength. Someone is praying. Following online, please make sure you pray. Let it be from the depth of your heart, the depth of your spirit. Grant me an infusion of strength. Shegete bakasa tapra tega de balakosia, embra kates kati la kaparus kaze ne kate dia, reketos shete gas kate berentes kate baria kata barusia. Strength for the journey, strength for the journey, strength for the journey, strength for the days that are before me, strength for the days that are before me. The staying power, the stamina. To pass through the seasons that birth glory from within my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two. The prayer now is for the finishers anointing. For those who have been in this season. I can tell you there are some of you who have been in this season. I know it by my spirit. That's why God sent me here. There are preachers. Let me tell you. You write this down. Nigeria is about to experience an emergence. There are people we have not seen before. They've been quiet. Going through that cave of Adulam. Some of them are nameless, faceless people. Just sincerely staying with God. No reputation. But a testimony. Of going through this season. There is an unveiling. You will see them in politics. You will see them in ministry. 
I'm sharing with you from some of the visions. I've been having phenomenal encounters with the Spirit over the things that God will be doing. I'm not one person who will come out and start telling you things and announcing things, but believe me when I tell you this. The old wine has finished. There is a new wine. There is a new wine that is coming upon the body of Christ. There is a new wine. It's not just coming to church. Strange emergence of people and make no mistake to think they were lucky. These were people who have been hiding like the 5,000 prophets under the custody of Obadiah. For some of us who have been part of many seasons because we have mastered the art of waiting and crying through these seasons, God will still renew like you renew visa. That even when your visa expires, he will renew your relevance and say continue. And you see most times when you renew a visa, it won't be the exact timeline. You may start with six months. Then they give you one year or two years. Then they can give you five years or ten years. Some you've exhausted your two years spiritual visa of honor and relevance. And you've proven to God that you've been faithful. There is that spiritual consular that is about to stamp your visa again and say even though you have been in ministry for a long time you will still not go out of relevance you have shown God that through your alignment you qualify for another season can I tell you between now if Christ tarries between now and 2030 the, the, the way things will shift across the body of Christ I hate to be the one to say this but there are names that will go down there are names that will rise up and there are names that will remain it is my prayer that everybody under the sound of my voice you will pass through that dealing of the spirit that circumcision though painful but that it will bring you to a point where there will be no season of the move of God that you will be out of relevance so can we pray this one last prayer for those who are already at the end of those seasons the grace to push through so that I will bet this new level of glory. Go ahead and pray. Revived to revive. Shanama sadega de beleko sada bras. Embra katos kada brandega de belako saziata haske de As this new wave of glory comes upon the body of Christ, as this new wave of honor comes upon the body of Christ lord we thank you for the stamina you have given us to go through these seasons and we realign ourselves afresh that will be recipients of these mighty things you are doing in this new season let our complacency not edge us out of your move let our complacency not edge us out of spiritual relevance as touching the things that you are doing I declare over your life tonight standing upon the grace of the apostle and the angel over this house I decree and declare that the stamina to pass through these seasons until the glory is birthed within you may that grace rest upon you in Jesus name and for those who are about to step into this season let there be the strengthening from on high in the mighty and marvelous name of Jesus Christ Amen and amen. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.